You've been lied to about the Big Bang for your entire life. Not in the conspiratorial sense, but in a simple misconception. The distinction lies in the difference between the Big Bang event and the Big Bang theory. I'm sure many of you were taught in your elementary school science classes that the universe was once condensed into an infinitely dense singularity, and then in an instant, it exploded. More on that in a future video. This is what's known as the Big Bang event, and it's a difficult idea for scientists to grapple with because they don't like singularities, and neither should you. Now, the Big Bang theory is completely different. Bazinga! When you take Einstein's theory of general relativity and begin to rewind the clock a bit, but stop just before everything collapses into the singularity, there you have it. The more scientifically accurate beginning of the universe. You see, the Big Bang theory is rooted in the idea that the universe was once extremely hot and dense, which we know that it was through things like the cosmic microwave background, and that the universe expanded, which we know it is now. Now, that's not to say that the Big Bang event is wrong, that's not necessarily true, but it's important to recognize that there are fundamental problems with it, mainly surrounding the idea of infinity, which is exactly why 